Welcome to my channel guys, I hope you're doing great. In this video we will see a compilation of the fish I caught during my recent trips to Kerala. Watch till the end and I hope you'll enjoy it. Any questions, please use the comment section, I will answer them. And if you like to see more snakehead videos, consider subscribing. Cheers! Is it? Oh yeah. That's a beautiful fish, isn't it? I practice catch and release almost on all my fish. And if you want to release your fish, it's important that you revive them very well. Snakeheads are air breathers, meaning they have to breathe air every now and then, though they are fish. And if you don't revive them properly, they have a risk of drowning later. So just revive them a little bit before you release, make sure they can swim away strongly and they'll be just fine. Snakeheads are ambush predators. They need some kind of cover to hide and attack their prey. You can usually find them around lily pads, fallen trees and submerged plants like in this clip. Target these areas and you have a good chance of catching one. Here is another example on the ambush behavior of snakeheads. You can see the snakehead was hiding deep into those submerged roots on the right side. And I was using a soft plastic lure, it's a paddle tailed shad, it's a 6 inch OSP do live shad I think. They love it, not just snakeheads, there are many other species that likes it. If you have questions about it, ask me in comments. Yeah. It is on. As you can see, I was not recording when the fish took the lure. I forgot that. Anyway, I was using a topwater lure, a jumbo frog. Snakeheads go mad at them. They just love frogs so much. And this particular snakehead, it's the species is called Malabar snakehead. Channa Diplograma, that's the scientific name of that. They are found only in Kerala and around the Western Ghats and nowhere else in the world. They are somewhat closer to the giant snakehead found on Southeast Asia, locally known as Toman. Let's take a closer look. If you like to purchase this frog lure, it's called a jumbo frog by Lures Factory. You can get that from Kerbal Outdoors. I will leave a link in the description. In the next clip, you can see the jumbo frog in action, triggering a strike from the snakehead.
here you can see me throwing the same lure towards the ambush points, the bamboo brushes that you can see here. I get a strike, but not a hookup. I miss the fish, just reel it in, cast right where I got the strike again, and wait for the fish to bite. Cut the strike, and it turns out to be a beautiful juvenile Malabar snake. A small guy, but nevertheless. What you see here is a technique called skipping. It's a very effective technique to target fish hiding under tree branches and other similar places. This technique helps a lot to place your lure very accurately, which is otherwise difficult using any other technique like uh, sidearm cast or overhead cast, anything like that. If you want to know more, let me know in comments. Maybe I'll make another video on the different casting techniques. It's not that difficult, you should try it, should should work fine for you. Give it a shot guys. I was just making some random casts until Raju, my good friend, pointed me towards a commotion near the banks. It turned out it was a snake chasing minnows on very shallow water. I made another cast and he readily took the lure. While we were cruising on the kayak, I noticed a little bird snagged and looking really exhausted. So I asked Raju to take a U-turn and see what's going on.
that is it for this time guys i hope you enjoyed it if you did like share comment don't forget to subscribe